In previous video, we have seen how can we implement this kind of Boolean function using standard rule. That's why we have implemented this Boolean function using 8 to 1 multiplexer. So in this video, we will see how can we implement this kind of Boolean function using 16 to 1 multiplexer and 4 to 1 multiplexer. As I have already told you in other videos that if it is given in question paper that you have to implement this Boolean function using this multiplexer or that multiplexer 16 to 1, 4 to 1, 8 to 1, then you have to follow the question paper then you have to follow the question but if it is not given in question paper that which multiplexer you should use then you have to follow the standard rule and we have already seen the standard rule in previous video so today we will see how can we implement this kind of boolean function this four variable boolean function using 16 to 1 and 4 to 1 multiplexer as we have already seen 8 to 1 implementation now suppose we have to implement this boolean function using 16 to 1 multiplexer. Now multiplexer is 16 to 1. So 16 can be written as 2 that's to the power 4. Okay. So the number of selection lines will be 4. As we know this rule of multiplexer. So the number of selection lines will be 4. And there are 4 variables in our boolean function. So we will have to connect all of these 4 variables to selection lines as selection lines. So so A, B, C and D will be connected as selection lines. So A, B, C and D will be the selection lines. Okay. So when the value of A, B, C, D is 0, 0, 0, 0, I0 will be selected. That is data from I0 will be selected for output. When the value of A, B, C, D is 0, 0, 0, 1, data from I1 will be selected for output and so on. Okay. Now the Boolean function is this. This is a four variable Boolean function and the A, B, C, D are the four variables and F is the output the value of f is 1 that is f is high that is output is high on this min terms on the occurrence of these min terms so when is f high f is high at the min term 0 2 3 5 so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so f that is output is 1 at which min terms 0 2 3 5 so 0, 2, 3, 5, 8, 11, uh, 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 15. So I write a 0 here on other min terms, on remaining min terms. Okay. So this is the truth table corresponding to this Boolean function. This is the multiplexer. A, B, C, D will be used as selection line. Now A, B, C, D are the selection lines. These selection lines decides which of these input lines will be selected for output. So what should we connect to input lines? Okay, what data should be provided to these input lines? Now as we can see in this truth table, when the value of A, B, C, D is 0, 0, 0, 0, I, 0 will be selected. And what do we want from I, 0? We want a 1 from I, 0. So we should connect a 1 to, we should provide 1 to I, 0. Data 1 to I, 0. Okay. Okay. Now, when the value of A, B, C, D is 0, 0, 0, 1, data from I1 will be selected. So, which data? What data should go from I1? So, 0 should go from I1. Similarly, when A, B, C, D is 0, 0, 1, 0, data from I2 will be selected. I2 will be selected. Okay. So, what should, uh, we, what should we connect? What data should we connect from I2? So, we should connect the 1, 1 to I2. Similarly, we can do other connections as well. Now, I have done all of these connections according to this, this truth table. I0, I2, I5, I3, I7, uh, sorry, I8, I11, 12, 14 and 15 are connected to 1 and the remaining input lines are connected to 0. So, when the value of, let us take an example, when the value of A, B, C, D is 1, 0, 0, 0, in that case, data from I8 will be selected. Data from I8 will be selected for output. So, I8 is connected to uh, 1. So, we get a output high. Okay. Similarly, when the value of A, B, C, D is 1, 0, 1, 0. So, data from I10 will be selected for output. But I10 is connected to 0. So, we get the low output. Okay. Now, suppose we have to implement the same Boolean function using 4 to 1 multiplexer. So, 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2. Okay. So, the number of selection lines will be 2. Okay. So, the number of selection lines will be 2. So, but here there are 4 variables. So, we can 
take any of these two variables as selection lines. We can connect any of these two variables as selection lines. We can either take C or D as selection lines, C and D as selection lines, or A and B as selection lines. So let's say I'm taking C and D as selection lines. C and D, I'm connecting C and D as selection lines. Okay. So C and D are two variables. So what are the possible four values of C and D? So the possible values are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 are the possible values of C and D. When the value of C and D is 0, 0, I0 will be selected for output F. So I0 will be selected. Data from I0 will be selected. When the value of C and D is 0, 1, I1 will be selected. When the value of C and D is 1, 0, I2 will be selected. Similarly here, I3 will be selected. Okay. Now we have to connect A and B as input lines. We have to connect A and B. These two, these two remaining variables to input lines. These two remaining variables to input lines. Now how can we connect these two input lines? We can directly connect A and B to input lines. So for that we have to make the implementation table. A and B are two variables. So there are four, there are obviously four possible values. A and B both can be 0, 0. So we should write A's complement, B's complement for that. A and B can be 0, 1. So for that we have to write A's complement and B for 0, 1. Okay. A and B can be 1, 0. Value of A and B can be 1, 0. So it can be written as A, B complement. Value of A, B both can be 1, 1. So I am writing A, B for that. Now how many input lines are there? There are 4 input lines. I0, I1, I2, I3 and I4. And we have to decide the values for these input lines. Data for, for these input lines. So I am writing here I0, I1, I2 and I3. So I am here I am writing i0 i1 i2 and i3 okay now which min terms should i write here so please listen carefully here a and b are 0 0 i am writing here 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 a and b in this truth table a and b are 0 0 for which min terms a and b are 0 0 for the min terms 0 1 2 3 and 4 sorry 0 1 2 and 3 only for 0 1 2 and 3 for this min terms these a and b are 0 okay now a and b are 0 1 for which min terms a and b are 0 1 for the min terms this 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 and this 4 5 6 and 7 so i write here 4 5 6 7 a and b are 1 0 for which min terms so a and b are 1 0 for the min terms uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I write 8, 9, 10, 11. Similarly, I write the remaining terms in this last row. So 12, 13, 14 and 15 will be written here. Okay. Now I have to circle the min terms. I can circle the min terms from this boolean function or from the truth table. Okay. Now this boolean function is high. For which of these min terms? For the min terms 0, 2, 3, 5, 8. So for the min term 0, output is high. For the min term 2, on the occurrence of min term 0, it is high. Uh, for 2, it is high. And similarly, for 3, for 5, for 8, for 11, and for 12, 14, and 15, it is high. Okay. Now I have to write the data corresponding to I0, I1, I2, I3. Now in this column, which min terms are circled 0, 8, and 12? If all of the min terms are circled in a particular column, then we should write one corresponding to that column. If none of the min terms are circled, then in that case, we should write zero corresponding to that column, that input line. But here only some of the min terms are circled. So I will have to write the value corresponding to that row. Okay. So in this case, zero is circled. So the value will be A's complement, B complement. So I will have to write A complement, B complement. For 8, I would uh, I will have to write A, B complement. So, or A, B complement. For this, I will have to write A, B because it belongs to this row. So, I will have to write A, B. So, or A, B. Okay. I will write these terms separately and we will simplify that. Okay. Now, for this column, for I1, only this min term is circled. So, I will have to write A complement B. So, I will write A complement B. Okay. Now, in this I2, A complement, B complement. So, I A complement, B complement. And here, a b so or a b 
in this column uh, a complement b complement so a complement b complement now i have written a a b complement corresponding to this 11 and a uh, or a b corresponding to this a b okay now we should simplify these men these terms okay so i zero can be written as this i zero is equal to this so this can be simplified as this a complement b complement or a uh, this can be written as both of these a we can take a common from these terms okay and you know the uh, distributive law of boolean algebra okay now b complement or b b complement or b can be written as 1 okay now after simplifying this we know that a and b can be written as a only a complement or a this can be written as only this can be written as a complement or a b complement and b complement or a okay a complement or a can be written as one so we will get a or b complement finally after solving this okay this equation i1 is simply a complement b so we cannot further solve it further simplify it i2 is equal to a complement b complement or a b so it can be written as a x null b i3 is simply equal to i0 and i0 is simplified as a or b complement now i have done the connections to these input lines i0 i1 i2 and i3 according to these equations and sorry i have mistakenly write i4 in this multiplexer okay now i0 is connected to a uh, sorry a or b complement so it is connected to a or b complement i1 should be connected to a complement and b so i1 is connected to a complement and there is an end get there is an end operation so this is an end, this is an end gate so a complement and b i2 should be connected to a x null b so it is connected to a x null b and i3 was equivalent was equal to i0 so i have connected to this okay a complement a or b complement okay